Holloway is a personal branding expert who flew in to help with the conference. And aren't we grateful? We're so grateful for that. The magazine helps speakers and authors and entrepreneurs become known. Please welcome Mr. M. Curtis McCoy. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. This has been an incredible conference so far, huh? I'd like to start out a little bit differently here. Are any of you guys familiar with the prayer of Jabez? Yes. That's one that I've kind of modified a little bit for myself, but it just received, it's just been such a great connection. I always looked at myself as, you know, I grew up in a real abusive household and stuff. Um, literally, my dad at one point put a, handed me a pistol after beating on me for hours and, and uh, told me to do the world a favor, meaning commit suicide. So it's kind of crazy stuff like that with, you know, all of us have gone through some some terrible problems in our life. But when that happens, a lot of times we end up with this lack of self-worth. And so that was one of the things for me. I spent years, you know, speaking at different conferences, doing, you know, very successful businesses, um, but still felt like I never was good enough myself. So <clears throat> when I came across the prayer of Jabez, that's one that I say very frequently. If you would like to repeat with me, that would be awesome. So first off, Lord, please bless me greatly. Expand my territory. Keep me from evil. Keep me from evil. And protect me from harm. And protect me from harm. So just four points. Bless me greatly. Expand my territory. Keep me from evil. And protect my heart or protect me from harm. But I say that I'll, typically when I'm when I'm praying in the morning, I will do some kind of a version of that. You know, not just it's not like a Hail Mary kind of a repeating, you know, repeating yourself type prayer, but actually just connecting and asking God, bless me, expand my territory, keep me from evil, you know, protect me from harm. So that's been a big thing that I, I think would probably help some of you guys is just understanding that you are worth, God created you in his image and you were created to be great. He didn't create you to be average. And when you are, you know, people who are very successful, everybody wants to, everybody wants to be, be like them. I had a guy chase me down in the San Francisco airport. You know, I, I, I carry a pistol pretty much everywhere I go. I, I don't go to church without a gun on me. Um, <clears throat> and that may offend some folks. But I was in the San Francisco airport, and I'm thinking maybe I had had some spare shells in my pocket or something. I hear footsteps running behind me, and, uh, and this guy, Mr. McCoy, Mr. McCoy. And pretty soon, so I stop, I turn around, I'm ready to be tackled, thinking, I'm probably getting arrested, this is probably TSA. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> this guy comes up in the San Francisco airport, and he's winded, and he says, Mr. McCoy, I, I just wanted to let you know I'm your biggest fan. And he wanted me to autograph a copy of his book. I said, wow, that's... You're probably my only fan, but thank you so much for telling me that. <laughs> but the uh, part of that is the is the personal branding. So I, I've been invited. I've spoke at Caesar's Palace. I've had some pretty incredible opportunities to speak at major events. I've consulted with the White House, with the Federal Trade Commission. All of that is not because I'm, I'm some tor some sort of expert speaker, uh, but it's because of the personal brand. So when you've got hundreds of thousands of people following you on social media. It automatically, everybody thinks. I had a lady yesterday called and sung a song in whatever her native Indian language. Um, just want to be her singing, and you know, we never met each other, but just because she thinks that I'm some kind of famous guy. But if you guys can build that personal brand, there is so much that comes from it as far as speaking opportunities, business opportunities. It, it's just a massive way to advertise yourself without having to spend any money on it. Yeah. You can definitely promote your brand with, you know, by, by paying for ads and stuff, but. That's what I'm going to talk about a little bit today is just how to how to build that brand and things that you do to let people make you know let people know you on social media. So are all of you following me on Instagram right now? M Curtis yeah, McGoy? Awesome. And then what about Newswire magazine? Yep. Newswire Mag? Okay. So you guys will be eligible. Somebody can win a hundred bucks today. I've got it's not a fake bill, we've got a we've got an actual bill that'll <laughs> give it to the winner. Um, that's kind of a funny thing too. You see people who wants to win a million dollars? They give you a, you know, million dollar paper bookmark, and that's almost offensive. <laughs> but don't use this one as a bookmark. Um, so the basics of personal branding. There's all kinds of. I mean, you know, if I taught you, if I knew everything about Instagram, and I taught you everything that I knew today, by tomorrow there would be stuff that we were missing because it's just everything's constantly updating. But basically, with personal branding, it's not just what you're doing online. 
So you've got a lot of these niche influencers and stuff that, you know, like especially the travel influencers and stuff where they've got, you know, the girl has had her boyfriend take 300 pictures of her standing in front of the palm tree at just the right angle. And so you see online this super curated, just, just perfectly manicured picture that looks like she's got the perfect life. And after that, they're fighting about it. The boyfriend's going, I am so sick of taking these stupid pictures. But, but with social media, I don't think you need to be fake. But also keep in mind, if you're posting pictures of, say you're a consultant, you're trying to do business consulting, and you're posting pictures of your cat, and then you, you're talking about how the fast food drive through you just went through messed up your order and... You don't have to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to share, you know, you want to share your, uh, share who you are, but it's also a good way to kind of highlight, pick out the top, top things, let people see whatever you got going on. If you guys have seen, if, if you're following along yesterday, you see all the people commenting, I mean, overseas, different, different countries that are saying, Mr. McCoy, you have such an incredible life. Wow, I would love to someday be at this type of an event with you. Woo! But it's because I've curated down and picked out the coolest looking stuff and shared it. And now people are going, how do I, how do I be like that guy? I, I want to be like that guy. <clears throat> but yeah, so if you just kind of, uh, you know, curate down the, the best stuff and start using it. Everybody asks, well, how do I do, you know, how do I gain 20,000 followers on Instagram? Or they're trying to figure out how I do the perfect captions or whatever. Like, just start playing with it. The more you, the more you use it, you'll come up with your own style and, and get to where it's something that people like. Um, how many of you are posting on Instagram regularly, at least a couple times a week? Ron, you were, right? Yeah. See, I know. <laughs> I, and I also have to apologize. I survived a malignant glioblastoma brain tumor. So you'll hear when I'm talking, I, I'll stumble, get lost, whatever. Um, but you don't have to even to be best motivational speaker or whatever. You don't have to be, if you get on YouTube right now and you search best motivational speaker in Colorado, I'm the number one result out of thousands and thousands of results. The funny thing about that, I don't say a single word in that video. You can't even see my face. It's a clip where, where I spoke at a conference and we got in there and asked people to do a short endorsement, optimized that, drove traffic to it through social media, through Newswire magazine. And by getting that traffic, now Newswire, I mean, uh, YouTube says, I don't know who this M. Curtis McCoy guy, but 10 people just gave a short testimonial saying that he's incredible. And so that's something you guys can do too, where if you're, if you're getting the, like here, you know, when you get done, get up, ask people to give you an endorsement, uh, you know, get some pictures together, do stuff where you can share. People want to see your life. And most people are afraid of, of posting what they actually got going on. So there's so many people doing incredible things, but they just, they're not sharing it. But if you do, it's not, uh, it's not just like a, you're not sharing to be, you know, show the world how great you are. It, it's a great marketing tool. So the way I use it is I'll show, you know, I posted a thing in the gym this morning. We'll talk about the, about the conference. I've got pictures from dinner last night, little, little videos, endorsements, testimonials, people talking about being featured in Newswire magazine. But the more you can get out there, just get your face in front of people constantly. That helps create that recognition. And also, you're making friends with people that you've never met. Like the lady from India that, that messaged me yesterday, singing me a song. I didn't understand the song, but I'm like, hey, that's beautiful. Thanks so much for taking the time to do that. For me. But that's because she's seeing my content multiple times every day. She picks, every time she picks up her phone, there's something she can tune into and watch. And so she knows me. I've never met this lady before yet, but she knows me and has got a, you know, kind of knows what my life's about and stuff. And you guys can do the same thing. Just get on and start posting and, and make some friends on there. There's so many people that say, fake it till you make it. And I think you can do that, but at some point you're a fake. Jeff Wobig, a Navy SEAL team sniper, said in my last book, he said, I'm all, you know, I'm all about faking it until you make it. But at some point, if you don't make it, you're just a fake. So I love that quote. But you see influencers, entrepreneurs, different folks that act like they're, you know, act like they're such a good person or whatever. And then you meet the person, they're sitting in a restaurant and they're complaining about the food and you know, my, my coffee's not hot enough and they tip the waiter two bucks when they leave. So now anybody that knows them in, in real life is going, the person you're following on, on social media is not the real deal. So part of being, part of the personal branding is actually being who you want to portray online. You know, if you're, if you're, wanting, people, if you're wanting people to think you're this great person, don't do, you know, don't, don't tip 
good at the coffee shop because you're trying to make people think you're a good person. Just be a good person and people will, it just, it just wears off. You draw good people to you when you're, when you're actually real and legit. And as far as building a personal brand, how many of you are either professional speakers or you're looking to be paid highly to speak? You got six, seven of you. That's awesome. How many of you are using right now, using social media and getting booked from these events? Okay, awesome. I know Anita, you just got one yesterday. It's incredible. Are any of you verified yet? Have the blue check mark? Or on YouTube, have the check mark on YouTube? So that's a big thing for credibility. Uh, political figures, anybody, you know, every rock star, political figure, the president, you, you don't have to do anything to be verified if the entire world knows that you're famous. Most of us will never have that opportunity to just be famous because we are who we are. But so like on YouTube, for example, you have to have 100,000 subscribers to apply for the check mark. You can't even click the application button until you've got 100,000 subscribers. But if you're already a celebrity, they can verify you with one subscriber. So it takes nothing as long as you've got the press and stuff. So if you pull up my YouTube channel, I've got 400, like maybe 420 subscribers on there. And I've got the check mark that I'm verified as a celebrity. I didn't have to apply for that. The YouTube guy, we, we set that up because of being featured on the cover of Newswire magazine. So the same thing if you're on Forbes, Fortune, Inc. magazine, Entrepreneur magazine, or Newswire magazine, we can get you featured within about 72 hours on YouTube. Kind of a cool thing just for that, that credibility. Um, and when I did that, I, I just did it to, to show that it was possible. But by having that check mark, I had spent years, you know, posting once in a while. I, I, I think I had 400 and... 404 subscribers or something. I just got verified about a month ago and have not posted another video, but just by commenting on somebody's post, hey, that's a great video. Now everybody in the comment section sees the check mark. They go, I don't know who this famous guy is, but people start following just because of the check. So same thing on Instagram, Facebook, all those. But how many of you are looking to be verified? Any of you know about the... <clears throat> <laughs> that's awesome. Any of you know how that works? Like the requirements on, on social media to be verified? So the biggest thing is you have to have major press publications, major media publications, because every kid on Instagram wants the blue check mark. They want to be Instagram famous or TikTok famous, they call it. Um, but if you've got, like I said, featured on the cover of magazines, if you've got, one, one thing you can do for free, you know, these, to be on the cover of a magazine is a pretty significant investment but you can do uh, like, like blog posts, start contributing to other blogs that are already popular. So if you've got, I mean, you, even you could be featured in Forbes and Entrepreneur and some of the big magazines, Newswire magazine. If you've got something you'd like to write a story about and it's good, verifiable advice that's helping, you know, helping their readers, these publications will publish you for free in order to get you, you know, and then, you're, and then you can say, hey, I'm a Newswire magazine contributor. So you get, get your article featured and but now social media sees that. Okay, I don't know who this M. Curtis McCoy guy is, but he was just featured on USA Today. You know, Google doesn't know that that was a fifteen thousand dollar ad spot, but they see. Okay, this guy's this guy's got this feature from a major publication. So I'd start contributing to blogs. Any type of thing you can do. The guest po or the guest uh, being a guest on podcasts. Anytime you know, reaching out to podcasts on anything that's relevant to your niche. If you can be a guest and, and be interviewed by these podcast hosts, provide some type of value. When you're starting out, if you don't have a good following already, it's going to take a lot. You'll, you'll pitch probably dozens of people before they say that they want you on the podcast. But once you start getting a brand and start getting where you can provide, you know, provide value, then that podcast is going to go, man, Ron talks, you know, Ron's got all kinds of great advice on sales and marketing, whatever your, whatever your niche is. Now the next, next podcast host hears that, they want you on their show. Pretty soon, that's syndicated on, to, you know, on Google and the different search engines. And as that's happening, now the search engines are seeing that you are the celebrity that you're, you know, that they're wanting to feature. But that's, that's the biggest thing is just getting your name out there. Speaking at events, I, I don't tip, I, I have never paid to speak at an event. I've been in events that are, that are 99.95 a ticket, so $10,000 a seat. And by trading, so here's, here's some value that I can provide for you you can end up to where you're speaking for free a lot of these. But I would take every possible opportunity to get out, speak in front of people, whether it's a political campaign, a, you know, I just spoke at the uh, 
stand for the Constitution Independence Day celebration. We had thousands of people. They had the, they had the you know, the big train going through town, like a um, parade float kind of thing. Had me in the front there with all of the politica political candidates in the back. So everybody at this rally, you know, there's thousands of people, and everybody's going, I don't know who this M. Curtis McCoy guy is, but maybe I'll follow him. So the branding is just huge. I, I would do anything you can, whether it's free or paid exposure, get your name out there. And, and uh, you know, as far as consultation, it's a little difficult to give a speech in front of a, in front of a group of people from everybody who've started out, who created their Instagram account yesterday, to people who've got thousands of followers and been posting for years. But the main thing is just putting out good content, trying to serve your audience. And the last tip that I would say is don't create content trying to get followers. So if you're trying to figure out how to make people follow you, you're wasting people's time. They'll, they'll go through about the first five seconds of the video, you go, oh, this, this guy's a fraud, or he's, he wants something from me. But if you just go down and start daily, you know, you post 25 videos that are just, here's value, here's value, here's value. Here's something where you can help your business. Here's how you can expand, you know, improve your life. And then, you know, I ask, hey, anybody interested? You know, if you want to check out this healing conference, we've got this really cool event coming on. So now we've got people, we had people yesterday tuned in from Europe, France, or from uh, different parts of Europe, France, Italy, quite a few different places, India, watching some of you guys' live videos because they're, you know, they're not where they could have flown to Colorado Springs overnight, but they saw it and they wanted to be involved. So they're up in the middle of the night, you know, 12 hour time difference, watching you guys speak during the day because I've provided value over and over and over. Then when I'm asking something, hey, would you like to come to the conference? Everybody's tuning in and they're interested in it. So provide value, don't be a dirt bag, be who you are and try to get featured in as many possible publications as you want. Um, that's basically just trying to get people to know you. And that is my, that's what I got for tips here. If you guys are looking to be featured in Newswire Magazine, let me know after the conference. Like I said, we're uh, giving Tony $1,000 per per feature just as a as an extra benefit to kind of help her towards the next concert, conference. So Anita did her this morning. Yeah. So Anita's payment, I, I gave $1,000 to Tawny this morning via PayPal because of that payment. So same thing, if you, any of you guys get featured, we're doing that, basically I'm doing that at my cost and, and sponsoring the conference with the rest of the rest of the money. Any Woo! questions? <laughs> Melissa. So since you've been working on your personal branding, what kind of impacts, I know you have an amazing story, like what kind of feedback have you gotten from some of your followers? Because I know you're changing lives. That's a great question. Um, so one of them, I was, in January, I was speaking at an event and I had a guy, or actually in January, I had a, a kid call in the middle of the night and just a random, I picked up the phone, I think it was 2.30 in the morning and you know, I jump up, I got business all over the country, so I jumped up. Um, Thanks for calling Newswire, this is Curtis. And he goes, uh, 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 everything okay? Something I can help you with? And he said, I, I didn't expect anybody to answer the phone. So, okay, well, what can I help you with? I'm, you know, I'm up. I'm, I was up for about 10 seconds, but <laughs> what can I help you with? And he said, I, I don't know. I, you know, you start sniffing. And say, I, 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 what's going on, man? You doing okay? What's? He said, I, I, I've taken a bunch of painkillers. I was planning on ending my life tonight. I was calling to leave a message with a random motivational speaker. So I know these people, these these speakers, these influencers. I, I thought you guys didn't care. I, I thought I was just trying to kind of promote yourself but he said I was, I was, so I was calling to tell you why I, I didn't deserve to live wow. I said I, I, I ate about half the bottle of pills I, I planned on finishing this voice message and taking the rest and he said I, I've got nobody to talk to I've got nobody to tell he said if I left a suicide note nobody's gonna find me you know it's they're not gonna find me until somebody shows up in the apartment and is stinking wow. so I'm, I stopped for a minute and I'm instantly went from waking up thinking I had a business deal to now I've got, and I'm tearing up and we start talking. I said, well, man, what's, what's going on? And I, that's one of the things, if somebody starts talking to you, telling you, hey, I wanna kill myself, I'm, I'm worthless. Don't, don't tell them immediately, if you don't know the person, 
Don't say, you're not worthless. You're not, oh, you're a good person. You're, they know you're lying to them because you don't know them. Yeah. I said, well, yeah. what makes you feel like you're worthless? What, why are you feeling like that? He said, well, my, I just found out my fiance was cheating on me. I grew up, and he starts talking about how his dad, or his, uh, he had been abused, molested, and raped by one of his, by one of his two stepdads. His mom had gone through a string of men that beat on him, beat on her, and just felt like, you know, just felt like he was worthless. So I started trying to talk to him about God a little bit. He said, if God is real, why would he let this happen to me? I said, well, God doesn't create, you know, God, God didn't create evil. God didn't create the devil. God lets us be tested. And there's people, you know, we've got free will. So these dirtbag people, these, these stepdads you had, Oh, they've got free will to do good or bad. They're going to pay for it when they're, you know, at the end of their life here. But so that's not a, uh, that's not God sending some dirtbag pedophile to, to rape you as a little kid. And so we start talking. And, and I had been up to that point. I talked about, you know, I, I own a pharmaceutical company, a cosmetic medical laser clinic. Um, I've built multiple a, a telecommunications company, phone company with over a quarter million customers a month. So I've done very well. On, on the business side, you know, consulted with the White House, all these kind of things. But as we're talking, I had never really shared much about my dad, you know, beating on me for hours, handing me the pistol, told me you're a waste of skin, you're a waste of oxygen. Spins a 357, hands it to me and tells me to do the world a favor. So I, I start telling this kid some of this stuff. And as we were talking before all this, you know, I, I spent probably 15 minutes just listening to his story and the stuff that's going on. I said, Listen, man, do you, do you mind if I share some of my story? And, and he, as you were talking, he says, I will never be. He said, I, I see you on, on Instagram, on Facebook, on all these places. And I see the life you live. I see you've got, you know, you're successful. You're making money. You've, you know, you got, got the nice cars. You're taking helicopter trips, private, you know, renting out a private plane and doing all these crazy things. He said, I, I'm just trying to pay my rent and, and keep a girl that's not cheating on me. And, he says, if God loves me, how could, you know, how, how could he put that, how could he put me through this? So I said, do you mind if I share my story? And I told him about that stuff. And then I said, listen, you are not created, you're not created for, you know, to have this, this perfect life that are posting on social media. So I, as I'm sharing my own story, I'm going, not trying to make that about myself, but by opening up and just being honest and being real. If you guys followed me, you know, last year, you would see everything was perfectly curated. Business stuff is like, you know, very, I didn't share the personal life at all. No, you know, not going to the gym, not, nothing except just business. And then this kid seeing that, he's like, I, I, I realized, you know what? I can share, I can open up a little bit about the stuff that we, we all deal with terrible stuff in our life. So whether that is abuse, drug addict, you know, maybe you're a recovering addict. Maybe you've had a you know, been raped, molested, maybe you had a, a spouse cheating on you, maybe, you, I mean, we all go through terrible stuff, but the difference that I see with every major leader at all these big conferences, everybody who has really made it in life, is they have, they we have all go through junk, the major leaders who are su extremely successful have used those experiences as an excuse to be better, instead of an, a, you know, as a reason to be better, instead of an excuse to be the same dirtbag that they had the experience grown up with. You uh, helped me finish my speech there. Anybody else got a question? <laughs> Thank you, it was awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you for this. You inspire me. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I made a promise at the beginning of this speech, and I just about forgot it. So, if when you guys can pull up my my Instagram profile and tell me Newswire is the business, that's what I'm here to promote. I can't find it on there. Newswire uh, on Instagram? Yeah, I, I went on, and you, were, you have to type in Newswire magazine. Oh, magazine. Newswire magazine. Okay. Yeah. Newswire magazine. Yeah. Yep. That's the one. Hang on. Yeah. Newswire magazine. Newswire magazine. Newswire magazine. Yep. That's the one. Hang on. But that's not the contest. Yes. Melissa was the first me to show her, the first to show me her phone. But. <laughs> you won. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yep. Uh, 
I think her, I, I think it's a different, maybe it is. I, she, I, think I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a special lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a picture of a, that's another funny one. I had a guy, it was, we were at a winery up in, uh, up in Grand Junction there. And, Palisade. yeah, up in Palisade. And one of her cousins, she's, she's four foot 10 or four foot eight, like 82 pounds. And so, uh, one of her cousins wanted to take some pictures. And she said, well, why don't you, why don't you just sit on his hand? So I've got her <laughs> sitting up like this, <laughs> holding her. And we got done with the, uh, got done with these pictures where, you know, it makes me look like a, like a giant. So that's a good reason. <laughs> if, <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to look really huge, date somebody that is one third your body weight and about half your height, you look like a monster. But we got done with the, uh, we got done with this, this photo shoot and I'm, I'm holding her there. And the cousin is, okay, this angle, this angle, let me squat down, went, trying to smile. <laughs> Pretty soon I'm shaking and sweating. Um, but this, this kid, when we get done, we go in and they're, we're dancing in the ballroom. And the, uh, this guy comes up and he, he says, uh, I, I asked somebody your name. They said, you're, um, you're Mr. McCoy, right? Yeah. He said, oh, cool. I follow you on Instagram. I'm like, cool. He said, uh, kind of weird question for you. We, can we go over here? I'm like, I can talk wherever, just... He said, well, where do I buy steroids? <laughs> he said, I can't help you with that. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, man, I can't help you with that, but you will look a lot stronger if you just get a very, very small girlfriend. <clears throat> um, okay, so you guys pulled up. You have M. Curtis McCoy pulled up. So the first one to tell me, what is what is the main feature? Newswire magazine looks like, you know, entrepreneurs love it because they can get their feature, their face on the front of the cover. But we're syndicated with Google Voice, Amazon Voice, Amazon Alexa. Uh, we've got artificial intelligence using OpenAI GTP3, using where you can read aloud, you can click and read the article. So tech nerds love. The the uh, M. Curtis McCoy. Oh, that's uh, just the profile. So right here. So if you look at my profile, what is the main purpose? You know, the, the magazine looks good, but it's an SEO tool to drive traffic. Like I said yesterday, Tony had over 86,000 readers on her article. So whoever tells me the first time, what is the main purpose? What's the reason for being featured in Newswire magazine? SEO. That's a good one. Giving entrepreneurs a fair advantage. You got it. Okay, say it again. So what's that? So the main reason for being featured in Newswire magazine? Giving, oper giving entrepreneurs an unfair advantage. Right. Awesome. I use my technology literacy too. Let me have you hold that real quick here. <laughs> 100 bucks. <laughs> That's it. Congratulations, Chad. All right, thank you guys.